So, hello guys. I uh, wanted to make this video for a while uh, because, well, I started doing YouTube recently and I proclaimed to be myself to be a trophy hunter. So, I decided to just share with whoever wants to see. I want to talk a little bit about the games I played and uh, the platinums I earned. And um, yeah, to just basically let you in a little bit on my games. Um, I don't want people to think that I'm some kind of a hardcore gamer for like doing Max Payne 3 or whatever the, the stuff I did recently. And to basically show that I like, I play a lot of easier games as well. Um, that's why I don't uplo upload this much because, well, I don't think that every single game I should upload because no reason for it, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, I just want to go over my trophy list a little bit on PSN profiles, uh, show you what I've been doing, what platinums I've been earning, and uh, yeah, here we go. Um, so this is my PSN profiles page. Uh, as you can see, I have uh, 63 platinum trophies at the moment. I have a little bit over 3000 uh, trophies. And uh, yeah, my completion rate is not the greatest. It's only like 73%. Um, but I'm getting there, I'm slowly but surely working on it. Uh, I have been working on Wolfenstein New Order recently, because I kind of want to work my way through the New Colossus. Because, well, I did try New Colossus, uh, I have a video of myself trying this out, but the thing is, I had no idea what's going on, I had no idea how to play this game, so I decided to just like start with the first game, beat it, and if I like it, go for the second game and not the other way around. other way around just didn't feel so natural for me. Um, Payday. This actually is not an easy game. Uh, you have to beat this game on the highest difficulty and it takes a while. I had a friend who basically carried me through this one. Uh, I actually doubt I would be able to finish it uh, myself. I'm working currently on maybe going for 100%, but we'll see. Uh, I, I'm not sure I'm going to go for it, to be fair, but we'll see how it goes. Um, Max Payne 3. Uh, this is the last series of videos I did on the, my channel. Um, basically, at the moment, I'm missing only two trophies for the Platinum. I'm missing uh, getting to level 40 and level 50 in the multiplayer which is a hell of a grind, it takes a while, like it really takes a while, so I'm taking it slow not to lose my mind, but I will get there, I did the hard part, basically did all the DLCs already, everything. Um, the previous game I did was Little Hope, Dark Pictures, I actually really enjoyed this one, like surprisingly enough, I had a lot of fun, I actually managed to, to finish it in three playthroughs and not needing to do like the fourth one or a cleanup one, so, actually, did I, f I think I did lucked out on this one because it's not like 100%. Um, Maquette. It was a PS Plus, I think, this month's game, like March 2021, I want to say. This, was, this one was actually a lot of fun. I enjoyed it a lot, a lot, a lot. And as you can see, it's pretty short platinum. It's only like seven hours. So I wouldn't actually recommend playing this one. Uh, Donut County, like I said before, I'm not shying away from easy platinums. Uh, this one, well, 82% achievers, so it is pretty common. Um, but it is an indie game, I enjoyed it, I picked it up on indie sale, the, the latest one. And uh, I did have a lot of fun with it. Uh, the game is really funny, like the dialogue is actually pretty hilarious, so I did have a good time with it, so I don't mind. Uh, Far Cry 3, another Platinum I did fairly recently. Um, I actually enjoyed this one back in the day, but this time around, for some reason, I found the controls to be super awkward. So, I don't know, I kind of forced myself through it, that's why it took me so long. I basically quit um, on this game twice, and that's the reason it, it says like 4 months. Um, Black Ops. Cold War, um, did all the single player stuff, did all the zombie stuff, I'm missing dead ops and I'm missing multiplayer, don't really see myself 
doing it anytime soon. Maybe later I'll come go back to it, but I'm not planning on it like any time now. Uh, dissection, another easy platinum, like an hour thirty minutes, obviously. Um, I wouldn't say it's like one out of ten game though. Uh, the game, like if you know what you're doing, it will probably take you like twenty minutes to go through it. You have to finish it twice, but the catch is it's permadeath, so. Uh, that's why it took me an hour and a half basically um, because I did fail a couple of times and every time I fail well permanent you have to start over so yeah I would say like two or f two out of ten difficulty I would probably give it uh, control another P PS plus game I did recently this one actually had a lot of fun in I didn't play the PS4 version when it came out back in the day and I heard it's really good so I waited for the PS5 version to come out and man that was actually a lot of fun and it's actually a really easy platinum because if you struggle and you can turn on the, the, the accessibility settings and you can basically make yourself invincible and um, make your make yourself um, one shot everyone so like if you're struggling you, you should you should be able to pull through anyway uh, a way out that was actually a really fun one as well i did it with a friend too um really good story really really good story can't wait for the next game it takes two actually i didn't pre-order it yet but i'll probably buy it when it comes out and i'll do it as well uh they have some really good games uh sniper elite really proud of this one um this one is actually not an easy game as well uh, the authentic difficulty in this game is not a joke at all so it took me a while to get it done i was playing with a friend uh, the same one by the way i was doing the, the way out with um you have no checkpoints in the level on authentic difficulty so if you die well if you both die you you're in trouble you have to restart the whole level there's like one level i had to do I think like seven times until I got it done. So that was actually a really decent one. Uh, Concrete Genie, another PS Plus game. Another really fun indie game I really enjoyed. I I did go for 100%. Um, the DLC is VR only, but it takes like only 30 minutes. So because I have a VR headset, I, I did it. Uh, Tomb Raider, I really enjoyed this series so far. Um the multiplayer trophies are a little bit of a grind and that's the main reason why it's only six percent um, on the platinum achievers uh, life is strange is also a decent game i would say uh, a little bit of just finished the game a couple of collectibles and that's about it um, did have a good time with it so not worrying uh, everyone's gun to rupture is basically a walking simulator it is pretty rare because well it takes a it takes a while to actually finish the game and, if, and I think you have to finish it twice at least. I did it three times because I did one blind playthrough like not looking up the guides there or anything like that. That's what it, why it took me a little bit longer. And one of the trophies actually glitched out on me so I had to do like a separate playthrough so I finished the game four times for this platinum. And the walking speed in this game is really slow, so it takes a while. And um, yeah, and that's the reason it's basically like only 17-18%. Uh, but it's not a hard game by any means, you just need to have the patience for it. Um, GTA 5, another one I'm actually really, really proud of. Um, it, it is actually also like a pretty rare platinum, like 1.9, under 2% basically. Um... I want to go from one well, for one hundred percent eventually, but the criminal mastermind and um, I think another one. What's it called? I'm actually not I'm not sure. Um, yeah, the trophies from um, Doomsday Heists. Um, yeah, those two. They're basically like they're the reason I'm not going from one hundred percent at this point because I need to find like a really dedicated uh, group for it. And I'm actually not sure I have the patience for it as well, so we'll see. Uh, Resident Evil 7, really, really decent game. Uh, enjoy it a lot, a lot, a lot. 
Um, you do have to finish the game on the highest difficulty. It does have a separate collectible list on the highest difficulty as well. So you need to keep uh, keep an eye out for those. Uh, as for difficulty wise, I would probably say it's between RE2 and RE3. Um, I think there's only one section I had a lot of trouble with and took me like an hour to get through. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it here, but yeah. Um, I won't I actually do want to go back uh, for this game and finish it 100%, but we'll see. Uh, I do own the DLCs, like I bought the season pass but back in the day, so I might go for it eventually. Uh, the bunker, not much to say about it. That's just an easy platinum. It's like a movie type game. And the story is okay, but nothing special. I probably wouldn't recommend it too much. Uh, Job Simulator, it's a fun VR game. I actually did it in one sitting, something I would probably not recommend and probably wouldn't do it again. But yeah, it was, it was decent, it was a good time, so I didn't mind. Uh, South Park. Oh man, South Park is fun. Uh, I really enjoyed this one. Um, like the, the hardest part of it was uh, finishing it on the highest difficulty as a black character. But even then, it was pretty manageable. I did it in two days, so that, that wasn't too bad. Um, Telltale Games, the Batman series, they're really good in my opinion. I think they actually nailed uh, Batman in this ones. Um would actually really recommend playing those and for platinum you basically need to finish the game that's about it there is no collectibles no miscellaneous nothing just finish the game and you have a platinum uh erica actually did have a good time with it i i did get it on ps plus as well i think and um yeah like four playthroughs or five playthroughs i think it was getting repetitive in the end and but the story was okay, so I didn't really mind too much. I did it in two days, I think. So I started like one day at around the noon and finished the next day. So yeah, not too bad. Uh, Deliver Us the Moon. It's another indie title. It's actually pretty rare. It only has like, I think 300 people got it. Uh, obviously the percentage is not that low because it's an easy platinum. All you need to do is, well, finish the game. A little bit collect of collectibles, a couple of miscellaneous trophies, and that's about it. So, pretty fun, pretty enjoyable. I wouldn't mind doing it again. Uh, Spirit of the North, that was another fun one. Um, yeah, I actually wrote a guide for it, haven't been published yet, but maybe eventually. Um, but this one as well, basically collectibles, a couple of miscellaneous, finish the game. The game is really beautiful, by the way, especially on PS5 with ray tracing. This game looks amazing. Um, Last of Us Remastered. This is actually a big one for me. Uh, like, I'm a really big Naughty Dog fan. And this game, well, not this game particularly, but uh, Last of Us is the game that actually made me buy PS3 back in the day, like in 2013, like right in the end, which, by the way, this PS3, I still own it, own it, and it was my first ever console. So, yeah, uh, this game is what actually started my PlayStation journey for me, so, yeah, and um, that's why I really wanted to do this one eventually. Um, grounded, you have to finish it on Grounded for 100%, but it's not that bad in my opinion. Um, like it's pretty manageable. I do have some video guides on my channel if you want to check it out. Um, multiplayer can be a little bit of a grind, but I did find a group of friends to do it with. So that was pretty fun for me. I did actually quite enjoyed myself. So that was fun. Um, yeah, another one I actually didn't finish. Uh, Uncharted Golden Abyss. Uh, Funnily enough, this game is the reason I got my Vita. But I started it, played for an hour, and never came back for it. I will in some point, because I want to have uh, all Uncharted game Platinums, and that's the only one I'm missing, so I know I will come back for it. But I don't know, just, I guess, 
didn't enjoy it as much as I hoped. Yeah. Uh, plaguing. This one is actually surprisingly rare because it's not a hard game in my opinion. It takes a while though. It took me like took me like twenty plus hours to finish it one hundred percent. But you need to beat all the scenarios, I think, with gold medals. I'm actually not sure if you have to beat them on the highest difficulty as well. I think so. Yeah, I think so. Um, all the thing is, I did play this game. Oh yeah, the, uh, the miscellaneous trophies are actually pretty hit and miss. They actually took me a few tries to get uh, to get them right. That's probably the reason it's also as rare as it is. Um, oh yeah, you do have to complete on uh, highest difficulty as well, and you have to. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess I I guess I see why it's kind of rare. Uh, but I did play it a lot on my phone back in the day, so it wasn't that bad for me. Like, well, well for me personally, um, Minecraft. Well, not much to say. It's a good time. You can cheese it a little bit because this this, this game is cross progression. Basically, you can invite uh, get invited into friends' worlds and uh, pop achievements there. So you can do it pretty easily. Um, ooh, next game is actually very special to me. Last of Us Part Two. This game actually was my first platinum eight months ago, as you can hopefully see here. Um, this is the game that started trophy hunting for me. So basically what happened, um, when the pandemic started, I I got sent to unpaid vacation for my work. Uh, I worked in like a movie theater as like as an IT guy back in like in the start of 2020. And well, because all the movie theaters were closed, I got sent home. Um, a couple of months before this game came out, I was basically losing my mind. Um... And when this game came out, I actually pre-ordered it, I decided to play it after taking a long break from gaming, by the way. Like a few years I didn't like actively play anything. So and because I actually enjoyed it as much after I was done, I noticed that I'm almost at 100 percent of the game. That was before the DLC came out. I wasn't even going for the platinum or anything, but I noticed that I'm basically missing all the collectibles and and that's about it. So I decided to go for a platinum because I love this game so much. And after that, well, all hell broke loose, as you can see, like eight months, 63 platinums at this point. So yeah, that's what basically what started it for me and um, gave me... Well, yes, got me to start playing again, something I didn't do for a while. And uh, it's so high on, on the list, uh, well, because I went back and the finished grounded mode and uh, permadeath mode as well. And they're not that bad, they're like workarounds for them. So I didn't upload the, the gameplay because, well, that's pretty easy in my opinion. Um, well, all the Walking Dead. Um, very fun, like, to be honest, I actually did enjoy them as at all, uh, I did really enjoy them, so, wasn't a chore for me or anything, um, yeah, I kind of wish I could play them again, I might, eventually, maybe I'll do them on the Vita or something, we'll see, uh, Burly Man at Sea, uh, I think that was a PS Plus Platinum, I'm uh, pretty, PS Plus game, I'm pretty sure. Um, did it on my Vita, so yeah, pretty easy game, two hours. Uh, welcome back, also pretty easy game, no Platinum though, but you know, it's basically pre-installed on every Vita, I think. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077, yeah, I give up, I gave up on it. <laughs> I, I didn't, I, I tried, I played for like six, eight hours, but oh, that was basically unplayable, so... I stopped. Uh, Detroit, really, really good game. Um, and the replayability is pretty good because, uh, well, you do have to play very differently every time. So I had a lot of fun with it. 
it was a really enjoyable platinum for me the story is pretty solid so yeah would recommend uh, wolf among us uh, another telltale game um one of the strongest ones in my opinion by the way uh, that was actually a pretty good one uh bucks next pretty fun game i uh, got it on ps plus finished it within a day so yeah i had a good time with it uh days gone hmm. that one actually was kind of a slow burner for me i i said to myself that i will finish it as well when i get my ps5 um and well that's what i basically did and the thing is it took me a while to get into it it took me like about 20 hours until i actually started to enjoy it um almost gave up on it by the way uh, i just knew it was it will get very good eventually so i kind of pushed myself through it but yeah but after that it's eh, that, that's really worth it it's the game you it's worth to stick with but it takes it takes a little while to get used to it so yeah um miles morales who i actually really enjoyed this one i actually did it twice once on ps5 one was once on ps4 and uh, i did it legit i did them both legit i didn't auto pop them so because i actually enjoyed this game so much i basically finished this game four times uh, because well we need to new, do new game plus for the platinum so i finished it four times in in one week something like something crazy like that um, but that was only because i'm ha i was having such a good time with it uh spider-man remastered yeah i have no shame i auto popped it sorry uh astro's playroom uh, my first platinum on ps5 really fun if you have a ps5 play this game when you get your ps5 play this game platinum is pretty easy as well so why the hell not uh first light need to go back to finish it um actually do want to finish it eventually it's just i don't know those challenges were such a uh, i didn't have a good time with it and as you can see i stopped playing it playing it on november 19th and well that's the day i got my ps5 basically and that's the reason i stopped playing it and didn't go back to it yet maybe i will eventually um south park the stick of truth i actually really enjoyed this one I, I finished it before on pc like a few years ago um as for platinum it's pretty fun but pretty nerve-wracking because a lot of trophies are missable like highly missable that you will have to like replay the game again for them so that was a bit stressful but the game is pretty good and it's really fun in my opinion so that was worth it i i didn't miss anything i, I managed to like get it perfect the first time but that was pretty scary god of war oof. now that was a fun one uh it says platinum was the missing timestamps because um i had it installed on my um, old ps3 well my current ps3 as well but back in the day i didn't connect it on psn to psn and after i seen the trophies which i probably shouldn't have um but i did it anyway and now it's too late to have remorse about it um a couple of my trophies don't have uh, the timestamps uh, the ones i started like back in the day um basically the first trophies in the game so i doubt somebody will think i, I cheated them but you know um just don't like seeing seeing missing timestamps that's all uh lara croft go hitman go did them both in one day hated myself for it yeah i didn't basic i did them basically just for the platinum so kind of feel ashamed and i didn't have like a well, good time with them and because i used the guide completely ruined the experience for myself so yeah would not recommend do it doing it this way uh jack and dexter I know this game is really good but i didn't enjoy it sorry uh, mafia 2 uh, pretty easy platinum um collectibles were really annoying though like 181 wanted posters in the uh, definitive edition that was such a pain it took me like three or four hours just to, like, to find them all it was so annoying uh spider-man 
really like this one still need to go back finish new game plus didn't do it yet i will i promise uh star wars jedi for fallen order uh, finished it on the pc as well back in the like when it first came out um pretty decent uh, collectible run was kind of annoying because no fast travel but other than that the game was pretty solid uh life is strange also pretty good story um, finish the game find some collectibles no big deal so yeah horizon i really love this one um also need to go back finish new game plus but the game is really really fun so i probably will at some point until dawn <laughs> that's a nice one i enjoyed it uh, as well so yeah the story well it, it's kind of cheesy but it doesn't try to make itself be something it's not and it kind of plays on its cheesiness i guess and um, so it was pretty fun for me pretty enjoyable i had a good time with it firewatch amazing game really good story controversial ending but i actually really loved it so yeah uh what remains of Edith finch i guess it's okay people saying it's really good but i kind of forced myself to finish it to be honest i don't know it wasn't my type of the game uh resident evil 3 really fun um the hardest trophy is probably finishing them with the s rank on the s yeah s rank on the, the highest difficulty so basically you have to finish it on the highest difficulty um while doing five or less saves under two hours i think Mm, but I actually really like speedrunning trophies because they force you to to learn the game and get good in it so yeah that was really fun for me um let's see uh yeah so this this, this is the trophy complete the the game with the rank on inferno not hard by the way uh, it's easier than it sounds uh, Resident Evil 2 is actually much harder um, also you need to speedrun the game you need to finish in the highest difficulty still need to go back finish the, um, the DLC didn't do it yet want to do it eventually Order 1886 early PS4 game easy platinum nothing to it the game was okay it was fun enough don't don't buy it full price though like get it on sale for five bucks you should be fine uh hellblade really enjoyed this one pretty fun game really enjoyable the story is really good in my opinion uh ghost of tsushima now i'm gonna say something controversial i didn't really enjoy it that much and people are saying that this game is a masterpiece and i get why I mean, I guess the game is really beautiful, but the story didn't grab me as much as I hoped for. Like, I did find myself enjoying it in the end, but the journey just wasn't fun for me for some reason. I don't know. Please don't hate me for it. Uh, God of War, really fun game. As you can see, like, like those games that have like one year, two years... And those are the games I basically started like back in the day before I was trophy hunting and came back for them to finish. So yeah, uh, Mafia Definitive Edition, I need to finish it. I really do. I gave up after like trying for an hour and a half to beat the race on classic difficulty. I tried to do one all in one playthrough. Couldn't do it. Didn't have enough patience. I don't know. I will. I will though, I promise. Uh, Ratchet and Clank, another game I have to go back to because I know it's really good. And um, yeah, probably didn't give it enough time. Uh, Uncharted. So, yeah. Um, completely ruined Uncharted Lost Legacy for myself because I wanted to do this game in one playthrough and not two playthroughs. So, I basically started on crushing difficulty and play with a guide for collectibles completely ruined the story for me i please don't do it just play the game normally the first time yeah, don't, don't be me uh, uncharted 2 uncharted 3 not much to say amazing games really fun platinums would do them again 
now we're going to the territory where this is basically where I sync my old PS3 with my current profile and that's what we see here uh, my PS3 games I started years ago and didn't sync the trophies and that's why all of them have missing timestamps yeah and I will probably go back for God of War, Deadpool and Uncharted not so sure about GTA, Red Dead and Portal to be honest I did try to play some Red Dead a few months ago for some reason didn't enjoy it as, as much as I hoped to so I don't know uh, Uncharted, Drake's Fortune missing one trophy I still need to finish on a brutal difficulty so might do eventually Uncharted 4 really fun um, was my first well hard-ish platinum I guess um, it was my third platinum I think I finished it after doing Heavy Rain Accounting Plus and Last of Us Part 2 so yeah uh, Heavy Rain got repetitive in the end like I didn't have a lot of fun with it like grinding the grinding it uh, you have to like see all the endings there is and it's fun at first but at some point it was like oh come on I just get it I want to get it over with uh, accounting plus yeah I need to need to finish that DLC as well but it's basically an easy platinum that was my second platinum after last of us part two and uh, the reason is well was well I was kind of excited to got my, to get my first one and I wanted to get another one and wasn't sure about my skills yet so I went for an easy one of a game I already had so that's the reason I have it and yeah and it's the rough page basically well all the games I started before starting trophy hunting I wasn't playing a lot as you can see so yeah and basically that's the reason like this page and those PS3 games the reason my completion rate is as low as it is but not much I can do about it other than do some so yeah that was my platinum collection I'm pretty proud of it and um, I feel like I did pretty good in the last eight months so yeah thank you for watching and I uh, can't wait to do more uh, gaming videos